Hello and welcome to the Snickerdoodle Knits channel. I am Jessica, the knitter and designer behind Snickerdoodle Knits and I'm coming to you from North Carolina and the US. In this video, I'm going to talk about my Hidden Love Mittens pattern design. The concept of the design is that there is a hidden heart, essentially, on the palm of each hand of the mitten. Um, so here you can see how there is a heart motif here, but it's kind of hidden because it's not in a contrasting color. If you're familiar with my With Love from the North mittens, you know that I have a pattern that's very similar to this, but the heart is in a contrasting color. This I called Hidden Love because it's not a contrasting color, it's just a contrasting stitch. Um, <clears throat> So it's a super cute, super adorable, easy to knit mitten pattern. I do not recommend it as your first knitting pattern, but I do recommend it if you're wanting to learn how to knit your first mitten, um, wanting to learn how to separate for a thumb, and so on and so forth. The stitches in this pattern are quite simple. There is the ribbing, which is a twisted rib. Um, and then it's plain knitting with some increases and some purls and then more knitting and some decreases. This pattern is written. Um, I have, so everything's written in instructions. I do, um, this pattern is available in seven sizes. There's a two to four year old, four to six year old, six to eight year old, a small adult, medium adult, large adult, an extra large adult size. Um, of course, it's pretty simple to modify this. If you want more length, just keep knitting farther after this heart is finished to add more length to your the hand of your mitten and just knit more before your decreases on your thumb if you want it longer. And if you want it shorter, do less knit rounds before your decreases. Um, so this pattern uses bulky weight yarn. Um, what I wrote the pattern with was Loops and Threads Impeccable Yarn, which is kind of a plump, fun yarn, 100% acrylic. I used it to work all of the children's sizes that's on the pattern and everything, the bright, fun colors. I really enjoy that yarn. Um, this was some leftover yarn that I had. I think it's a Lion brand yarn, but it's not the yarn in the, the pattern. Um, if you're interested in other yarn recommendations, I do have a blog post that I'll link down below in the description box. Um, and that blog post has color recommendations for your mittens, as well as alternative yarn recommendations. Um, so whether you're looking for affordable yarns, if you're looking for something that's maybe not 100% acrylic, whatever, I have a variety of suggestions in that blog post. In the pattern itself, I have all of the dimensions for hand length, um, hand circumference, mitten length, mitten circumference, um, all of those are also included like on the Ravelry pattern page, so you can check those out before you, before you purchase the pattern. Um, in the pattern I also include links to tutorials that I've recorded to demonstrate how to perform these stitches, so maybe you need a refresher on how to knit a purl or the increases that I use or something like that. I have tutorial links to all of those in the pattern. And if you have any questions at all during the pattern, you're always welcome to reach out for pattern support. Um, so yeah, I think it's a great beginner mitten pattern. Uh, a great introduction to a simple knit pattern that is not just plain knit, but it has a fun little motif on it. Um, what I have done with these, I guess I could show you what they look like on me. These actually don't these aren't my size. This is a size up from my size. Um, so they're a bit large. But that is the pattern motif with the heart on the palm. Um, what was I going to 
interesting. Oh, what I added to these mittens here is I added a fleece lining just to make them a little bit warmer. Um, so what I did was that I traced out the mitten on the fleece just like using a colored pencil or something so that it showed up on the fleece. And then I cut that out and I sewed up the just the sides so you you have to cut two out of course in your fleece so that you can sew them together and I just slid them into the mitten. Um, I would recommend doing a little bit smaller than the mitten um, just so that it's not quite as bulky inside but yeah. So that is my Hidden Love Mittens pattern. Um, I hope you found this video informative and interesting and if you have any questions again go ahead and leave those down below if you are looking for any of the links to purchase the pattern or for yarn recommendations or anything like that that is all down below in the description box um, and if you like this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and check out the other video tutorials and pattern descriptions that I have provided I hope to see you around very soon. Happy knitting.